the first Native American woman to go into orbit. Nicole Mann is serving as mission commander of the Crew-5 mission. She and three other crewmates traveling to the International Space Station for a six-month stay. Mann says for the trip, she's got her wedding rings and also a dream catcher her mother gave her, adding that she hopes her trip to space will encourage younger generations. Thanks for being here with us on our midday show. I'm Lisa Hernandez. And I'm Andy Sirota. The launch marks the first time a Russian cosmonaut has joined Americans on a a SpaceX NASA operation. NBC's Tom Costello caught up with the crew before they headed into orbit. For decades, Russian and American astronauts have worked side by side in orbit. Now, amid war and sanctions, Russia is threatening to pull out of the space station within a few years. But today, two Americans, a Japanese astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut, will board a SpaceX rocket for a five-month station assignment. They've been training together for a year. Mission Commander Nicole Mann is a veteran combat pilot set to become the first Native American woman in space. You've got a Russian cosmonaut among your crew members. Is there tension uh, among you and, and your fellow cosmonaut? It's just like working with any other true professional, and that they are true professionals. That Russian crew member is Anna Kakina, Russia's only current female cosmonaut. Do you and your crew members discuss the tension with Russia and America, or do you choose not to discuss certain topics? We were focusing on our uh, common, unique, single aim, uh, and we had not a time for something else. And once in orbit, they all gaze at the same home. This is the view of Earth from the International Space Station and a simulator at NASA in Houston. Outside the cupola, the blue richness of Earth and the blackness, the deep blackness of space. And right there, the Canada arm, which has reached out to grab an incoming cargo vessel. Russian rockets regularly give the station a required altitude boost, and crew members often eat dinner together. But cosmonauts have also flown flags from the breakaway Ukrainian regions, even an old Soviet flag. Still, NASA's chief says both countries communicate and coordinate every day. This has been going on since 1975, in the middle of the Cold War with the Soviet Union. And uh, that cooperation has continued ever since. 250 miles above the Earth, some topics are better left on the ground. And that was NBC's Tom Costello reporting. Always exciting to see that happen yeah, live. Amazing. Justin Stapleton uh, joining us right now. 